Well, it's Uncommon Fossil, and today talking about a very popular deck that is Charizard Arceus. Um, I've been working on it for a few days now, tweaking the list, and i got to say, it is a harder deck to play than I thought, but getting the hang of it and getting a handle on the 60 I want in the deck to make it more consistent, because setting up is the key to this deck, I think, as with most decks. But once you're set up, you're rolling, right? So Charizard EX, you got to know the card. Um, you probably played it, and if not, you played it against it a lot, because it's free on live, and it's very strong. Stage 2 EX, uh, the fire type terastalizes uh, into a dark type, which is nice hitting that for that dark weakness. It's weak to grass, so keep that in mind. Grass isn't the strongest type out there, so being weak to grass is definitely better than being weak to water, I think, too. So 330 HP, it's nice and tanky. A very nice attack, burning darkness, does 180 damage for two fire energy, and then it does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent's taken, so it ramps up very nicely. In fact, if your opponent's taken five prize cards, that's extra, extra 150 in damage, so you get 330. You can one-shot an opponent's Charizard EX to close out the game if they've taken five prizes, so you know, that attack building as the game goes on makes it very nice, and it's got this ability, Infernal Rain, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve your Pokemon during your turn, you can search your deck for up to three basic fire energy and attach them to your Pokemon any way you want. So really, really nice setup. Your Charizard EX, power up your Arceus V-Star, power up your Radiant Charizard, whatever you want there. Very, very nice. So besides, we, so we play three of the Charizard EXs. We play four of the Charmander from Obsidian Flames. 60 HP is the same, but it does 30 damage instead of 10. I believe the other one does for one fire energy. It does 10 to itself, so hopefully that's not... That probably isn't the biggest issue. Getting that extra 20 damage on usually is a bigger benefit. And then one stage one Charmeleon. This one attacks for two, for two energy, does 70 and 20 to itself. You don't you really want to attack with it, but... Um, you know, you real you want to have. I like the one stage one here, so that we're not relying on rare candy for all our evolutions because we have four rare candies. We want probably want to get three Charizard EXs to play, one Pidgeot EX into play. We can't count on EX on rare candy doing all the work for us. So mentioned the Pidgeot EX, so another stage two. So obviously this deck loves rare candy, and if you play rare candy in a deck, Pidgeot EX is probably a must include. If not, you really got to have a good reason to not include it. It's got the quick search ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a card, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one quick search ability each turn. Super, super strong. Gets you that one card you need every turn for the rest of the game. 280 HP. It's nice and tanky. It's probably not getting one shot, so you can leave it on the bench with some confidence. It's got free retreat if it gets gusted up. It, you know, it's just a pivot card if you want, so your active gets knocked out. You can always just set up Pidgeot EX. Super, super, super good card, right? So we play a one, a two zero two line. Um, you're only getting one in play. The, we have the two copies of the basic and the stage two, really in case one is prized, because this card is crucial to this deck. You can't afford not to be able to get it into play. So I do think two copies of each of those is appropriate for this deck. Uh, we have our secondary attacker in Charizard EX. And actually, you, you attack with Arceus in the deck too, so maybe it's your third attacker, because this is a late-game attacker, Radiant Charizard Um it's Combustion Flame, does 250 for 5 energies, fire 4 colorless, and can't attack the next turn. You're going to get knocked out. It's a basic 160 HP is not bad, but you're probably getting one shot, so that's okay. Uh, but in, yes, 5 energies is crazy, but you, I'm sure you're familiar with the ability Excited Heart. The Pokemon's attack costs 1 colorless less for each prize card your opponent's taken. Once they've taken 4 prize cards, you're attacking for a single fire, fire energy, doing 250 on a basic single prize. Super strong uh, option. And then we play one Mew uh, for Mysterious Tales ability. You can look at the top six. If it's in the active, look at the top six cards of your deck. Put an item, Reveal an item card and put it into your hand. Shuffle the rest into your deck. Just getting that little extra draw with us. Um, don't be afraid to send it up to the active. That was one of my mistakes, mistakes early on. I didn't want to send it up to have to retreat it because we only play one switch card in the bit, in the list, so we're manually retreating most of the time. But that usually is fine with Charizard EX. We're getting energy into play, usually more energy than we need before the game closes out. So burning a couple of energy or two, retreating Mew, perfectly fine with the list. Don't be afraid to do it. you got to hit the rare candy. 
along with those evolution Pokemon. If you don't get those cards early on, early on, you are done with the deck. So lean into Mew. It really helps out a lot. Uh, energy count, 10 energy is what basically all the lists I were seeing were playing. Um, I'm playing nine basic fire energy uh, and one DTE. A lot of decks play two DTE and eight fire energy. Uh, one, I think, look, I can get by if the DTE is prized. So I can either just not attack with Arceus or just accelerate fire energies to Arceus. Honestly, I attack with Arceus with just fire energy a lot of the time when I want to attack with Arceus. So, it, but, you know, the DTE is nice to have as an option. I don't ever really want to attack, attach two in a game. And if it's, like I said, if it's prized, it's okay. And I want more fire energy because I got it. I need those to accelerate w with uh, Charizard EX, right? I can't accelerate uh, the DTEs with Charizard. So I want more fire energy. I like this energy count. Uh, but as I said, I'm going against the grain. Most most players, eight fires, two DTEs. You, you choose. Try them both out. See what you think. You can let me know in the comments below if, I'm on, if you think I'm making the right choice or not. So we can play... Get into the trainers. We can play some one ofs in the list uh, because we do have that search with Pidgeot EX, right, to get that one of when we need it. So let's get get into the list here. I've modified the list, increasing the consistency a little bit because I wasn't setting up as much as I want. And then finding since I made these tweaks, the list is better. So what do I have here? I have one Raihan, a super nice supporter when, when, when you want it. Again, you got the Pidgey IDX to get it when you need it. You, you can only play this card if your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Uh, you accelerate an basic energy from, one, from the discard to one of your Pokemon, and then search your deck for any one card. Really nice. Can power up our next attacker. Get that one piece that we're missing. Another way to search the deck for any card we want so very much like it one escape rope that's the only switching card we play it's nice and of course it forces our opponent out of the active which we do want that at times two nest balls just to get some basics in play get we need a bunch of basics early in the game that's important uh two artisans i believe it's the only stadium i have at this point yes i cut some other stadiums just to get some other supporters, I think, for consistency. But this is adequate. You, look, you want Stadium to bump Path, for one thing, because Path, you can't use Pidgeot EX. Although once you're set up, you can get by without without that search. But you still obviously would like to have that search so you can grab the boss you need or whatever to close out the game. So two Artisans bump Path if it's there. And also search your deck for a basic Pokemon without a rule box put on your bench. We need to get those... Uh, Charmanders, we need to get the Pidgeys onto the bench. Useful card early on. Four Battle VIP Pass. Need to get those Pokemon down early. This card is super great. You know, that's one of the, you know, with a deck like this, getting Battle VIP Pass early or missing it can swing the game. Sometimes that's a bigger deal than going first or second. So, which I don't love, battle, leaning on Battle VIP Pass in a, in a deck like this, where I'm, so, I'm just in a world of hurt if I don't get it. But you got to get these Pokemon in play. It is the best way to do it. Uh, three bosses order. A high count there. We can search them out with uh, Pidgeot when we need it. Um, just super, super good card, right? Uh, just to control what we're hitting into. We're not always one shot at things, especially early. So controlling what we hit damage into, controlling our opponent's option, really important. Four Ionos. Um, I, I, I don't play research. At one point, I had one research in the deck. I did drop that. Uh, when, when I made some changes to the deck, because the because the deck you don't want research at least not often because rare candies you can't afford to ditch those rare candies. Um, you only have four of them. You can only you only have one stage one. You need three or four stage twos in play. Those rare candies are gold in the deck. You know, treat them as valuable valuable commodities. So Iono is good early on, getting six fresh cards very nice early, and when you're late game, put your opponent to a small hand. You have Pidgeot EX, so that's okay. You go to, you know, if you both go to a two-card hand, let's say, you know what, I could draw that. I'm still guaranteed to get the boss next turn with Pidgeot EX, so it's okay. Iono, super good. And I, I, I include three colorless experiment. Most lists play it. Initially, I, I didn't have this on that, to put some more one-ofs in the deck, but I just wasn't setting up consistently enough. Colorless, honestly, Huge for that consistency with, with the deck. Get this in your first few turns. Look at the top five cards in your deck. Put three of them in your hand, two in the Lost Zone. You just got to get those pieces to evolve. You know, get an Arceus, get a Pidgeot EX, get a Charizard. Once you got that going, 
you know, life is good. But you got to get there. Call rest really helps it. So I cut it to get some other one-ups. You could try it too. I just found I wasn't setting up enough. I was just losing games, just staring at a bunch of basics on the bench, not being able to get get things evolved too many, too often. One super rod, you know, get some basic energy and or Pokemon from the discard pile back in your deck up to three. One lost vacuum. Again, we got a bump path or get rid of a tool that's causing us trouble too or any other stadium that's helping our opponent. So a nice little option to have there. One Cynthia's Ambition. Again, this is a nice include when you have Pidgeot EX. Without Pidgeot EX, I'd never, I wouldn't include this in a deck like this. Uh, you draw five cards in your hand. If one of your Pokemon is knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you draw it so you have eight cards. So it's a way to draw up to eight. It's not research. You're not discarding those rare candies, which I said is a really bad thing to do. Um, you, you really only want to use it after you've been knocked out. You, you, with a, since we're a multi prize deck, we're not taking a lot of knockouts, but being able to grab this during a turn we need it with Pidgeot EX is a nice option. I like having the one in the deck. Four Ultra Balls get those Pokemon we need because we need those Evolution Pokemon. This is the most consistent, reliable way to do it. There are s some supporters. Uh, the one whose name I'm blanking on that searches for two Evolutions, for instance, but Ultra Ball gets any Pokemon. I, I, this, I, I much prefer this, I got to say. Um, one Vitality Band. I don't play Choice Belt. A lot of lists do. You could include Choice Belt. Then you might maybe cut Cynthia's Ambition. I'm not sure. Um, but Vitality Band, you do 10 more to your opponent's active Pokemon. It doesn't matter what, what type it is. It doesn't have to be a, a V type like with Choice Belt. You don't have to be behind the prizes like Defiance Band. So I like this. That 10 damage, the way uh, Charizard's e, de, EX's damage ramps up, this Vitality Band is helpful. I definitely like it in the deck. You can get it the turn you need it. Um, you, like I said, Choice Belt is, is certainly something to consider. If you think the deck needs that, you can find space for it. And then four Rare Candy. We love those. I'd play, you know, you'd play six or eight rare candy if you could, but that's against the rules. So that's the list. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, I've been finding with this latest build, the deck sets up pretty well. And once you're set up, you are in strong shape. So have some fun with the deck. Hopefully I can show it off right now. All right, so choosing heads here. Hopefully I win and can go first. I do win, and I will go first. Obviously, you want to go first. It's an evolution deck. It's a stage two deck. Um, what I'm finding with this deck is do I get my um, Pidgeot EX evolved turn two? If I get it evolved turn two, I win. If I don't, I lose. And I've been running into a lot of problems with this deck getting the Pidgeot evolved, and I don't know why. I mean, I'm just not hitting the pieces I need. So um, sometimes I'm making misplays. I am getting better at the deck for sure. Uh, the deck, it, I, I'm finding this deck does need some practice, which is fine. It's not an issue. All right, good. My opponent had to start Lumineon V. That's not good. I have Artisan. Let's see what I draw, what my options are, though. I want, would love, all right, Nest Ball. Would prefer Battle via P Pass, but that's okay. I can get down. All right, so Bench of Pidgey. Bench. Let me just make sure I have my evolutions because Arceus is nice, and I'll get it, and I'll toss down a Charmander. Right, Arceus. Obviously, had to grab the Arceus with the Nest Ball because I can't get that with the Artisan, but I can get the Charmander. So I will attach to Charmander. Um, I think. Yeah, I will attach to Charmander. I, th there are reasons to attach to Arceus. There are reasons to attach to Mute also. Look, um, the thing is, if I evolve to Char to um, Charizard EX, okay, so Urshifu and Teleon. Um, so they got the, so that helping them get the Manaphy down, I mean, the, the Remoray down so they can evolve Dactylary, nice for them. Um, okay. So... I haven't played into this batch up with uh, this Arceus, with the uh, Charizard Arceus deck. We'll see how things go. Um, so I want to get my uh, people evolved, evolved as quickly as possible. I have rare candy, so let me grab, let me thin with Artisan first. And I want another Charmander. Let's just take a look. I have Arceus V-Star, which is great to get. 
I have one Pidgeot charge. Okay, so I have all the pieces I need. Now I will... Um, I'll play Mew. Grab Ultra Ball. Don't battle VIP passes. Obviously no good to me. So that's good. So now I have... Arceus, I have Pidgeot, I have whatever I want there. Um, I'm liking that. Don't want to attack with Arceus this game. So what do we have here? Energy. Uh, do I need to be able to bump a stadium? That's a good question. What else do I want? I'll grab this guy. Um... All right, I'll grab these cards. I'm thinking about Ultra Ball, too, I got to say. But let's see what happens here. So I want to get the Arceus Evolve. That's what I want to get. I think I want to keep... I'll ditch the... Actually, I have Rod, right? So I can get... Let me, let me keep it Energy in hand so I can attach from hand also. Then I can get a Pidgeot... All right, so Arceus, I want a Pidgeot, and let's say a Rare Candy. And I still have a Rare Candy, so that's good. So grab my Pidgeot, grab a Rare Candy, then I can grab a Charizard, and I am good to go, right? I have the Lost Vacuum, because I might still want that at some point. So now I just grab the Charizard, and I get... So, you know, Arceus leads you to... You know, if you didn't have the Arc, could I have sequenced it without the Arceus to get the cards I wanted? I'm not sure, right, is what I will say. Not sure. Um, I don't really want to attack with um, Arceus. Um, let's see... You, uh, do I want to attack with him? I might want to attack with Pidgeot EX, actually. I'm going to make that play. I, I, I could have attached to Charmander because, of course, he's very useful. Um, so I have the knockout, right? He does 180. That's quite nice. I think I want to power up uh, Charmander, maybe. I'll split things like that, yeah. I'll make that my my decision. Not sure. I And I like that I have boss in hand. That's quite nice because I want to control that, what I'm hitting into, what my opponent can and can't do. All right, Iono, a good little option there too. I mean, not great at this point because I'm ahead in prizes. Um, the, you know, the Mew's going to get... They're going to take out the Mew. I want to get that Char the Charizard EX Evolve. That's the one thing that I want to happen. What's what's the energy? I have two in the discard pile. Okay. So when I Pidgeot next turn, so Forest Seal Stone, that's quite nice for them. Um, they have Octillery. So now they can get their energy, and they can grab an Inteleon. Uh, uh, Max with it. Um, I, I want to be careful about, um, you know, they, they are doing what 140, right? So they have to three shot me. Uh, their ping, I think, just does the bench. So, okay, they have Radiant Alakazam to start moving the energies, the damages, right? From, they, they need to get this, they need to start smacking through this Charizard EX. That's what they need to do. I need to evolve my Charmander, which I have access to. Um, you know, the Arceus is kind of too cheap prizes for them if they choose to. Um, and that's okay, too. Um, so let me grab... Do I want to use Boss this turn? That's part of what i got to think about. So I want... I need to evolve my Active for sure. Let me just check my energy situation. I have three. Okay, I have all three energies that I want, so I don't need to use Rod this turn. Let's think. I've got... No, I don't want that. I want Rare Candy. That's what I want. 
glad I checked that because uh, that was dumb of me, right? That would have been a huge, huge misplay. So where do I want energy? Um, I want energy. I want to spread this energy around some, right? That's what I want to do. Um, so one there, one there. I'll put one on the Arceus. This way I can attack with him. So uh, what do I want to do? So I'm doing 180. Do I want to take something out? Um, maybe I do. Maybe I do. But what do I want to take out? I think I want to... I'm going to Iono here. And then... Hit into the Inteleon. And then I can hit into the Inteleon the following turn. And then I'm down to a single prize card to win the game. Right? So let me... Don't think I want another Arceus down to another. Uh... Sorry, I don't think I want another Charmander down. That was that's the one question. Do I want a third Charmander down? I think I don't want to give them the soft bench target potentially, because they could win with with two single prizes as well as two 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 prizes and two single prizes. The Mew they can take out in two turns if they choose to. Right, ping it, uh, move a damage, move two damage onto it, ping it again the following turn. So if I give another soft, squishy bench Pokemon, um, that's not good. So they're going to bump my stadium, which is fine. Um, see what they get. Do they Are they going to grab an Urshifu? They're going to get down maybe another Inteleon V, I would think, right? Um, so the nice thing here is... Char, I, I gust up the Inteleon VMAX with a boss, take him out. Um, okay, Urshifu. I mean, Urshifu does not knock me out, right? So that's a bit odd. I don't know what they're going to do there. Not sure. I mean, I guess that they could take me out with the Urshifu. Wow, okay, so they're leaving him in the active. I'm surprised about that for sure. Um, what do I want to do here? Um, Maybe I want to bump their state. I don't think I want to bump the stadium, do I, this turn? I'm just going to thin. I'm just going to look and thin. I don't think I want anybody in play. Radiant Charizard does have some value, of course, too. Um, not enough value, though. I can do 10 more damage with Choice Belt. I'll just fail there. Um, let me grab the stadium. Let me grab a boss. Let's think. If they disrupt my hand, it doesn't matter what I grab. If they don't disrupt my hand, then I'm going to have boss for, next, for game next turn, right? So put the pressure on them to... Um, so 140. So I will just take the knockout here. So now I have boss for game next turn. Easy, easy peasy. Um, I think we'll see what my opponent does. Obviously, they have their tricks. The game's not over. All right, I have two bosses in hand, which is good, uh, I guess. I mean, I'd rather have two bosses in the deck. Obviously, had I known I was going to get boss, I would have grabbed something else. So um, that's fine. They're going to take out my active. I mean, they could take three prizes if they wish to, right? They could take out my active and my Mew or take out my active and... Put damage on any of my bench. They if they if they after they had a boss, they could no, they wouldn't have taken two prizes anyway. So uh we'll see what happens. I mean I have game here. Um the decks worked out quite nicely. And they forgot I was immune to the bench damage. I, I've forgotten that too, I will say. So I have boss in hand anyway, so they know I have have game. Didn't matter if they hit into it or not. I will just boss up a nice little squishy target here. I'll take out the I'll take out the Rain Alakazam for 480 with weakness. Why not? Flex my muscles on my Charizard EX there. And there we go. Boom. You know, when, once you get Pidgeot EX set up, you're in such good shape. You know, it, it's really fun. Um, games where you don't get Pidgeot EX 
set up, it's really a struggle. That that's that's really the, the key to this deck, right? Um, well, the question is: do, first, you have to get it set up. If you don't get it set up, you're in, you're in a world of hurt. And then, if you do get it set up, um, you still have to make the plays to win. So, um, and obviously, my opponent made a mistake there by hitting my t a Terra type Pokemon, right? Because it's immune to bench to damage when it's uh, on the bench there. So, don't forget that. I know I have forgotten it too right? when I when I don't don't have that situation well I kind of forget it but it, it's true it, it, it never goes away that's going to be with us for a long time right we got a couple several more years of it because it just came into the format so don't forget that right it's never a good feeling when you kind of make a, a silly play like that so and for just make a basic mental blunder so try to remember that I, I keep trying to remind myself that's why I'm saying it here because I know I tend to forget but it's a solid deck for sure um give it a try um I think it's probably a little more hype than than strength. It may be a, sta a tier one deck. I'm not sure if it is. It's low tier one. Might be a tier two deck. Tier, look, look, even at a tier two deck, it's a, it means it's very good, right? So don't be afraid to play it. Uh, work on on mastering the deck list. Work on refining the sixty. You know, it's a good deck. It's worth that effort. Take care.